As soaring energy and food prices wallop consumers and businesses alike, federal regulators will place stricter limits on foreign exchanges that trade U.S. oil. No one knows for sure what's going on here. That's why we're conducting this hearing. The new requirements include the daily sharing of data with U.S. authorities and the reporting of violations when they're uncovered. Some lawmakers and analysts have blamed increasing speculation by index funds and other large investors for artificially boosting the price of oil, corn, and other commodities. Simply speculating on whether the price of a future is going up or down is normal, that's what traders do. But excessive speculation in which large positions are taken that divorce the overall price of the commodity from its natural price is problematic for consumers and businesses and is really threatening our economy. The latest numbers from the government show the economy is clearly hurting. Wholesale prices shot up 1.4 percent in May, the biggest increase since November. Energy prices rose 4.9 percent for the month and food prices jumped close to a full percent. Flooding in the Midwest is threatening to put an even bigger burden on corn and wheat prices in the coming months. Certainly uh, there's been at least uh, 5, 10 percent loss in the uh, uh, fields from flooding, especially in places like Iowa. Uh, one farm-oriented magazine conducted a survey uh, and uh, the results indicated that at this point over three million acres total in the United States has been lost uh, because of flooding. In other economic news, industrial production fell two-tenths of a percent in May and the number of new housing projects for the month fell by 3.3 percent. That's the lowest level the industry has seen in 17 years. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.